take a look at this. Now, I know you've probably heard this line a hundred times, but this is the world's smallest custom computer. And it's pretty crazy. So, I really like how this is. It's like a little handle. But this thing is running Linux on it. I have Nmap, Wireshark, all that stuff on here. And it's actually insane. So, I'm going to be showing you how I actually built this in this video. How to flash it. Because I'm the first in the world to have a video on this. I guess I just got it early. So, let's get into it. So, to actually get started with this, we're going to open up Microsoft Edge. And it's actually super easy to flash. So, we're going to want to head over to this website. Now, this is wikiseedstudio.com. I'll leave the link down below. So, this is the Quantum Mini Linux development kit. So, it's a mini dev kit. Mm, smallest on the market, obviously. CPU runs at 40. That's my alarm. 40 millimeters by 35 millimeters. This is a Quark N based on the L winner. So here's all the specs. Quark N on the Atom N. Inserting the Quark N into the slot. If you're interested in that, and you could go buy one. Now, I got this for like 80 bucks. Now, I've been seeing them go up to like 150. So we're going to want to scroll down here. And latest system image. And you could just download that. I already have it downloaded. But you're just going to wait till that's downloaded. You're going to want to open that. And then extract it. So once you do that, you're going to want to format your SD card as a FAT32. This will not work. Your system can automatically do that for you. All you have to do is search up SD card formatter. So what we're going to be able to do now is go over here. And this is the easiest thing I've ever done, guys. Belina Edger. Okay. Flash from file. Cork. Open. And then you just plug your SD card in with a slot. With like a SD card reader like this. I use an Acer SD card reader. You select the target by plugging the drive in, and then you flash, and that's literally it. And you will have Linux on this little device. Now, I want to explain what's happening here. So, you do have to plug it in. It does not have a battery, but I'm going to order a battery, and we could attach that on here with some good soldering work. Um, but let's wait for this thing to boot up. So, it says Linux unit, and the screen is not too good, but it's not too bad. And we'd be like, oh yeah, how do you type on this thing? Well, you just get a keyboard like this, okay? And this allows you to type on here with this little plug. This is a Wi-Fi adapter for longer range. <laughs> and boom. So it's hard to see on the camera. I can see this really good in person. Let me try it out. Focus on here. But, I mean, you could do all kinds of things through here. And it's super awesome. And I feel like this is definitely a cool device if you're trying to hack on the go. I know it can be small, but you also don't need the Wi-Fi adapter. I just like how this looks right there. But like I said, I do want to add a battery. And then I feel like I can just attach this right there to my mini handheld. It's funny. This computer itself is like as big as one corner of the keyboard. So I want to find a mini, mini keyboard that we could attach on here. And I feel like that would be actually really cool. Now, like I said, I definitely want to do more videos with this in the future. That was just how to flash it. But I definitely do want to go more in-depth on it. But, like I said, there is no info on how to flash it out there yet. So, I just wanted to get that out there and how cool this mini device is. So, if you want to get one, go on eBay. I don't think there's, like, an exact source that you could buy from. But that is where I got mine. So make sure to like and subscribe. Go join my Discord, ages 1317. I'll leave the link down below for that too. See you guys next time. Bye.